Hi everybody! This is Leia with your astrologically themed video for the week. This time around, your entire reading will be on a choose-your-own-message basis. You only have to choose if you want the two cards on top or the two on the bottom, and I'll show you what I mean in just a few moments. This week, our decks are the Anake Tarot, which is the one on the left, and Doreen Virtue's Magical Messages from the Fairies Oracle Cards. I know that we haven't had astrologically themed videos for the past couple of weeks, so I figured I'll give you a special treat by using decks that we've never ever used in our reading videos before. The cards were shuffled and picked from random spots in their respective decks prior to filming with the intention that the most helpful ones for us at this moment are what reveal themselves to us. Watch the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and any other prominent sign in your birth chart because, as I always like saying, your sun sign is only one part of you. So if you're ready, let's see what Spirit's message for us is. So what I want you to do before we proceed, and this is very important because your reading depends on it, is to pick which of these two sets of cards would you want for your reading, the top or the bottom? I'll give you a little bit more time. The top or the bottom? Ready? Let's go. Welcome Sagittarius suns, moons, risings, and everyone else with prominent Sagittarius energy in their birth charts. If you chose the top cards, these are what you got. Two of Cups and Business Venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. What's being brought to your attention now is the relevance of a partner to a business situation or project. Either you're going to do better having a partner or some kind of assistance with career plans you have at the moment, or if you've already started and do have a partner, Make sure that everything is up to speed and all your cards have been laid on the table so there aren't any surprises later down the road. In any case, this message is all about examining how a partner fits into any plans you have regarding business at this time. For some of you, how this relates will actually involve how a romantic partner may be part of or affecting your work life. And those of you who chose the cards on the bottom, you got Queen of Cups and Your Desire is Within Reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. For all of you watching this who have been feeling a little introspective lately, you're being reassured that you're more capable than you think of accomplishing what lies in front of you of successfully stepping over the hurdles that appear to stand in your way. You're being encouraged to come from a more empowered place, from a place of believing more in yourself and in your capabilities. The Queen of Cups doesn't just stand for worrying, actually. For some of you, she could be the signal to spend a little bit more time in meditation and contemplation over positive matters like giving yourself uplifting self-talk to replace any harmful self-deprecation that may be bringing you down and discouraging you. In any case, watch what the voices in your head are saying and replace them as necessary. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and share these videos with anyone else you think would benefit. I'll speak to you again soon. Take care of yourself. Bye for now and namaste.